on bee balm set. So yes, you get fragrance, but what's neat I think about this one is this curated concept of color within a single plant. Because a lot of people want that dimension, but it's like, what do you do? Here, it's three plants times two that give you this look of Absolutely. like three tones in one container. Absolutely. And you know, again, on this perpetuals sort of, uh, uh, you know, theme, this isn't in our perpetuals collection, but you want to talk about a bee balm that is going to churn out the flowers. If you're sitting there this morning with us and you're, you're kind of watching the theme here, we started with hummingbird mints, we've gone to Shasta daisies, and now we're to bee balms. Three plants that really do a lot of good for our, our friends on the mm -hmm. wing out there, our little fluttering, hovering yeah. friends that are so important important to our gardens and our lives. Well, a lot of people are more cognizant Absolutely. Than ever about it. Absolutely. We should be cognizant. We, 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 we're not alone in this world. There's a lot of really beautiful creatures out there that we share our gardens with and plants like bee balm and the hummingbird mint that we saw earlier are really great plants to support pollinators. Okay. So what's it smell like? It's a, oh, crush the leaves here. <laughs> Mm, it's like Earl Grey tea, right? Uh -huh. It's that sort of like bergamot. Oh my God! Uh, isn't that wonderful? Yeah, it's a that's great, great minty sort of fragrance. This is a, a series called the Balmy nice. series that we're bringing to you in this three-in-one uh -huh. set. Uh, a nice compact uh, breeding, uh, nice. some nice work here uh, that we're, we're proud to bring to you here at Cottage Farms. Great colors as well too, and mm -hmm. a nice compact shape. Well, we call them Balmy Rose, Pink, and Purple. That's right. As luck would have it. <laughs> uh, and you're getting two of them. How do you do that? How do you make a three-in-one? Well, you know, we're, that's one of our things. That's one of our niches at Cottage secret? Farms. Well, it's, you know, we're, what we're doing is we're putting three of those cuttings in the same pot and really kind of growing them on the same schedule so that we really create, I love how you said that yeah. earlier, a really designer, a, a package, if you will, yeah. uh, for consumers uh, when they open up that box uh -huh. and they see, uh, you know, the images we're going to show in just a minute, that, yeah. that, you know, they're going to really see the value they're going to get well, for so all these colors even. in one pot. It doesn't look like it's three plants right, in one totally. pot, because in my mind, that would just kind of be like Napoleon ice cream, <laughs> just like in third. Right, no, this is, but this they is mix, much they softer. Mix so pretty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this is really artfully done and the colors blend really nicely nicely together. Uh, again, a, a sort of tonal blend of these colors. We're showing them here in containers. Uh -huh. You know, again, this is a perennial that has been bred to kind of bloom like an annual. So if you're gardening uh, in, in a limited amount of space, maybe in containers, this is something that you can certainly use in containers because it practically behaves like an annual uh, flowering, you know, through midsummer, early to midsummer. And, uh, you know, as otherwise, though, if easy to grow in small spaces, if because it's a compact, tidy little plant. It's yeah. only about 12 inches tall. That's great. What about parts of the country? Are there any areas that are better for this? Or where you'd say it might not be the best choice, we've got other stuff for you? Well, again, this is a cold hardy perennial. This can go all the way to zone four. I mean, if you're in St. Paul, Minnesota, you're going to have good luck with the, mm -hmm. the balmy series of bee balms that we're talking about here today. Uh, you can go all the way into probably zone eight uh, down in the south, too. So somewhere in Georgia, and you're going to have good luck with these, too. Our bee balms are native plants. These are native, you know, across North America, uh, a, a sort of classic wildflower that you would see if you were out, you know, rambling around a state park or uh -huh. something looking for a, a, a little bit of nature. This is a little bit of nature you can bring home oh, to your garden. Idea. What about um, deer? Because when we were talking about the hummingbird mint, you brought up you bet. the fragrance there. The That's deer, our deer theme, and right? rabbits aren't totally thrilled with it. I don't know if it just because it's fragrant, if that automatically right. means it's the same well, place it's, here. The fragrance is one thing. You know, the foliage is kind of has a kind of fuzziness to it, which uh -huh. is sort of fun for us to kind of crush. And we're, we're on a mint high right now. We're, uh -huh. we're, we're wanting a cup of Earl great tea that here this morning, so Mary. But, yeah. uh, you know, this is an, another great point. We can attract the, the butterflies and the hummingbirds, and we can keep the deer and rabbits so away with plants like So would you plant like this to help protect some of your other plants? You does can do that. that no, it actually does work like that. I use that strategy a lot in making designs. You know, if you if you mix in different groups of plants, if you pulled in that hummingbird mint and the bee balm that we're showing here now, and you brought those together in a planting with other things, certainly the, the presence of those plants, if you have deer that come up and pick through your yard, Mm -hmm. It's going to help, you know, kind of tell them eh, this isn't the place I want to be eating yeah, so often. Right. It's a three in one. And so when you look at the screen, I mean, at least I did anyway. Like, well, what are, what are we actually doing here at Cottage Farms? Right. <laughs> well, it's kind of like six plants. Really? Because it's Truly. three plants in one pot and you're getting two pots. So we'll show you what it looks like when it ships to your door. And look remember, it'll ship based on where you live. And then that's when you're billed. So you're essentially reserving your bee balm right now. But this is a For good example. 
example planting. of what you're getting. It smells, not even touching it, just holding it out here, mm -hmm. you can smell that wonderful minty fragrance that is going to, again, help keep the deer and rabbits away. They're not going to come nibble and chomp on this. Look at how healthy that plant is. Off to the races. What we want you to do when you get this plant, when you get your box, you open it up, you peel these out, we're going to send it to you at the right time for planting, mm -hmm. and we're also going to include our handy dandy care Thank guide. We want to, Yeah, we want to point that out. Everything we're talking about today comes with a care guide because all of the tips, the tricks, the tools for success that we share on the shows are all here so that you can reference it later in the mm -hmm. growing season if you wonder what yeah. you're doing. Because you think you'll remember, we all know. Yeah, well, and it's just good to keep <laughs> them, keep them so with fast. your gardening tools, maybe in the That's garage, in a folder or something, someplace you know where they're going to be and you can go find that information when that comes Make up. Make it as a reference guide. That's. Uh, I, I'd right. love to know, Kelly, who got you interested in gardening? Was there somebody in your family yeah. that lit that fire? I've been gardening uh, since I was probably about four years old and I started gardening with my, my grandma. Uh, she had a very uh, wild kind of cottagey garden. Uh -huh. She grew things like bee balm. Uh, not this variety because this is brand new. Uh -huh. This is, uh, you know, that's one of the great things about well, cottage farms. What's her farms. name? Uh, Cheryl. Cheryl. Yeah, my grandma Cheryl, a longtime Cottage Farms uh, customer actually. So Cottage Farms has been a part of her gardening life for a long time. That's so, so nice. Uh, yeah, I grew up uh, uh, poking around her garden and uh, exploring and, yeah. and seeing nature up close. Well, so. that's wonderful. I think a lot of us, I, Meemaw was mine too. Oh, she sure. got me into the garden. So I just look at a plant like this and I think, you know, this is how you get the little ones interested. Absolutely. Just because the petals are so funky and you're going to get to see nature up and, close and personal. Yeah, I mean, I think it's the sort of thing because of the size and the, the aesthetic of it. Little ones are interested and want to. It's their size. Yeah, they want to like <laughs> lean in, learn a little bit more about it.